Hey everyone, over the last few weeks, as I've spoken with a variety of investors across the country, I've noted some very different perspectives on the commercial real estate investment climate. One multifamily investor I met with has been aggressively trying to acquire properties over the last few months. For him, the key ingredients have been the stabilization of interest rates, the reduced pricing climate, a belief in the strength of future multifamily demand drivers, and the currently reduced bidding competition for assets. When it comes to industrial properties, I spoke with an investor who said they're putting offers in, but they're getting outbid. He said competition for industrial properties has been climbing, especially for smaller infill assets. Retail investors have also been active, especially investors targeting neighborhood, community, and unanchored strip centers. Those investors have been focused on the sturdy fundamentals with low vacancy and positive rent momentum. But for every active investor I talk to, there are several who are still on the sidelines. Those investors tell me that they're still waiting because they believe interest rates will come down later this year and they believe pricing is still in the correction process. They're very cautious and several express concerns about moving too early. I think that a big part of the difference of opinion lies in where investors focus their perspective. We definitely face short-term headwinds. In many cases, cap rates are still below the cost of debt capital. Most investors are simply not willing to take the risk of negative leverage. In addition, there's uncertainty about the economy. I've spoken to several investors who think a recession is still coming and a few who think we're already in one. On the other hand, some investors are focusing on longer term trends. Drivers suggesting future commercial real estate space demand will strengthen. Things like the fact that the total number of jobs in the US is at a record high. New jobs have been added every month for 38 months straight. And there are 5.5 million more jobs today than there were at the pre-pandemic peak. In addition, unemployment is at a still low 3.9%. And the strong employment market is pushing real discretionary income 6.5% higher than it was before the pandemic. That's building personal financial momentum with inflation adjusted total cash savings, including money market funds, trending upward over the last 10 months. And these forces are supporting retail sales, which are 16.8% greater than before the health crisis on an inflation adjusted basis. These macroeconomic metrics reiterate the strength of the US economy, reinforcing the prospect of a soft landing. Now, let me tie these trends back to commercial real estate. Back in 2022, when every headline was focused on inflation, Fed rate hikes, and an imminent recession, demand for apartments fell. Consumer sentiment dropped like a rock, so new household formation declined. However, for the last four quarters, apartment absorption has been positive. In 2023, apartment absorption totaled more than 236,000 units, and we're forecasting that to go up to about 390,000 units in 2024. Looking at multi-tenant retail, the momentum's even stronger. This sector has had positive absorption for 13 quarters straight, and the vacancy rate is at its lowest level in more than 15 years. And then there's industrial. Absorption of industrial space has been positive for 55 quarters and counting. Basically, since the first quarter of 2010, when we were just emerging from the global financial crisis. Granted, industrial space demand last year wasn't as strong as it was over the last few years, but it is still positive. So I understand why investors are cautious. There's definitely a fair amount of uncertainty. Uncertainty about inflation, uncertainty about interest rates, and uncertainty about economic risk. But if you consider how strong the economic momentum is and how that will shape commercial real estate demand over the next few years, the outlook is more optimistic. Assuming the Fed doesn't hold rates too high for too long and induce a recession, commercial real estate space demand should continue to strengthen. 
And if your anticipated real estate hold period is five years or more, the outlook is pretty promising. So investors who are focused on the short-term headwinds will likely remain in a holding pattern, while investors who are looking further ahead are already in the process of re-engaging the market. These are the investors who are keeping their eyes on the horizon.